Hey everyone, this is Matt Prez with SolidBox, and today we're going to give you information on how to customize the SolidWorks user interface. One of the key features of SolidWorks is how well it integrates with the user's working environment. You have a lot of customization here, so it's very important that you understand what you can do and how you can make use of that. So we're going to talk about a few different areas, a few different key aspects of sort of an out-of-the-box install of SolidWorks. So by default, you'll see a few things on your screen. You'll see your design tree on the left-hand side where you basically you get access to all the features in a part. You get access to all the components at an assembly. Then you'll see the property manager. Whenever you're creating a feature such as an extruder or a revolve, this is where a lot of that information pops up where you need to enter different values, make your selections, and so on. It all pops up inside of this design tree. Configurations, dimension expert, display manager, all this stuff is displayed within here. You also have this double right arrow here that shows the display pane. It gives you access to turning the transparency of solid bodies on and off. You can do things like hide and show components quickly. You can change and display of features. Now let's take a quick example here. So we're going to start a new sketch on the top plane. And I'm just going to draw something here, just a rectangle. And I'm going to extrude that. So now as we look at this feature, we can do things like we can change the appearance of just this feature or obviously just the face. We can do things like make that feature transparent. We can also expand the solid bodies folder. We can make the entire solid body transparent. We can hide and show it completely. So if we do things like add another sketch, let's say that we were doing an extrude cut through this. We could make just that feature transparent, and if you'll notice, it's only making the walls or the faces that are part of that feature transparent, not the entire thing, as opposed to making the entire solid body transparent. So this can be handy, especially if you have, for instance, an outside face that you need to hide or uh, certain features that you need to hide. For instance, if we wanted to see that cylinder on the inside and get a good idea of what's going on, we can make the original boss extrude transparent and then just take a look at that geometry that's inside of the part that's you know kind of hard to see in other cases. So this is a real good way that you can use a display pane and also your design tree to sort of customize how you can view parts and how you can work with parts. The next thing I want to talk about is the command manager. Now this is what you see at the top of your SOLIDWORKS window. This doesn't have to stay at the top. You can click and drag and you can dock it in other positions if you want. But most users are going to like to use it at the top. It also doesn't have to be docked. It can be free floating and can even be on another monitor completely. So depending on how you like to use your specific install of SOLIDWORKS, you might want to move that around and make it a little bit easier for you. When I'm using the command manager, I usually use it with smaller icons. I've been using SOLIDWORKS for long enough that I know what these icons are, or if for some reason I don't, I can hover the mouse over them and it'll tell me. And it's a pretty quick process. You don't have to wait very long for it to tell you exactly what that feature is. Saves me a little bit of room inside of the modeling window, and I like to have as much room as I need. So when we're looking at this, there are a lot of different ways that we can customize this. If we right click on any of these tabs, you have a whole list of tabs that you can show. For instance, if we needed weldments, we could show weldments. Let's say that we decided not to work on weldments. We can hide it. If we right click, you'll also notice that there is a customize command manager option. This automatically brings up your customize window, but you'll notice that there are a lot of different tabs here. Flow simulation, circuit works, power servicing, these are add-ins that I don't currently have turned on. So they're not shown as being grayed out, they're shown as being bold because they are available, but they're not on because the, the actual add-in is not loaded. There is also this icon all the way to the right that allows you to create a tab based on toolbars. So for instance, if we needed this tools, we now have the tools menu here. We can right click on it, we can delete that. We also have the option to make an empty tab. An empty tab is very handy because it allows you to go in and do things like make your own, drag certain tools. We can bring things from any different tab in here and go ahead and bring in some layout tools. And that way it allows you to customize and potentially make one tab that has everything on it that you need. If you do certain operations over and over again, for instance, if you're on the features tab, let's say that you never use revolve cut or you never use a boundary cut or you know some of these features, maybe this is just too much stuff. You don't use this often enough. Well, 
And if that's the case, you can make your own custom tab, have just the, the features that you use most often on it, and that way you can save yourself some time with mouse clicks. All right, so now that we've talked about the design tree on the left-hand side, we also talked about the tabs at the top, your, uh, your command manager. Let's talk about the display pane or the task pane on the right-hand side. Now, this is a great source of a lot of information. This is where you're going to come into your design library. You're going to find things like forming tools or any library features that you've made, toolbox components, access directly to 3D Content Central, as well as SOLIDWORKS content. So this is a great resource for getting a lot of components. You can also use it directly as a file explorer. You can pin this open and you can browse specifically your open parts if you have a bunch of parts open or you can browse through anything on your computer. Use it just like Windows Explorer. Then you also have access to drawings. If you're creating a drawing from this view, you have access to place views quickly and easily from that side, access to your appearance, scenes, and decals, and then there's also a custom properties tab. So this is a custom properties tab builder, and we're not gonna go over this in this video, but this is a great way that you can actually create new custom properties inside of SOLIDWORKS. So make sure that you understand what's going on over here on the right-hand side, and as you use custom tools such as Simulation Express, or if you're using DriveWorks or something along those lines, it usually pops up in the task pane.